good morning everybody. Dan of the Rust Buster once again in Plantation, Florida with Tony 65 Impala. Uh, this is a, uh, a Resto mod uh, with the, with the uh, LS7 motor, the four link rear suspension, the best of the best of the best of everything. What I did was I put on the rear quarter. And a lot of people have this, they, 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 they seem to, they, they comment on, on my technique, which is I butt weld. However, I do not 100% lay a continuous bead all the way around there. Number one, it distorts the metal, has too much heat. And number two, it's just simply unnecessary. Why is it unnecessary? Oh, but the moisture is going to get in there and, and it's going to lift. No, it's not. When I cut out the piece... And when I'm prepping my piece to put it in, I off, I sand the shit out of it, osfo it. If you don't know what osfo is, then you got nothing to tell me. Then after I'm done with that, I lay it heavy with red oxide primer. But uh, if you don't know what red oxide primer is, walk inside of a steel building. It's bare steel with red oxide primer. No paint, no nothing, and it doesn't rust. It's a rust inhibitor. I use that everywhere. I'm going to be working inside here. You see, there's still something, you know, that I can't reach in there to cut that out. So I hit it with the osfo. Then I let that cure for a bit. Then I hit it with the red oxide. Then I'm going to put my patches on, which has been red oxide. Red oxide is a weld through primer. After I get done with that, I red oxide it again. It gets between the gaps of where the welds are. And then after I'm done with like a rear quarter and I patch that in, I come up after that and with my flap, and it's already been uh, osphoed, I knock off any burrs and such like that, hit it with red oxide again, and then I hit it with uh, flex seal. And that seals it in. If, if, if you want to make a comment about the right way to do it, you better be showing me your work, okay? And where mine, after I don't know how many years, mine doesn't lift, okay? These cars that I work on, this 65 Impala is not going to be driving on the Long Island Expressway in the winter with, with sand and fucking salt, okay? Think of who you're talking to here. So if you got a comment, that's cool. You want to tell me how it's done and where I'm going wrong? You can kiss my ass. Until then, y'all have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.